Hi there, it's Rika Kovasen here with another video for AB Studio. This time I'm using the Pure collection and creating a mixed media art journal spread using that collection. First I went through the materials I'm going to use for this spread. Most of the papers were from the Pure collection, but I'm also including little pieces from two decoupage rice paper. First I'm cutting the sheet to fit inside my journal. Then I use a washi tape to bind the two pages together so that when I'm working on them they stay put and also the design kind of continues flawlessly throughout the two pages. Then it's also easy for me to include the two pages on opposite sides inside my journal. As you can see I then added some pieces of another patterned paper from the Pure collection and then added some gesso on top. This was kind of to hide the strict line between the two pages, kind of hide the seam and also create a surface for mediums cutting on top. First I used white gesso so you can really see the uh, palette knife markings there and then coated the spread using clear gesso. So all of the places in the paper are absorbing or actually non-absorbing the color the same way. While adding the clear gesso I also added the pieces of the decoupage paper in. Then I added some acrylic paint. This is translucent acrylic paint so just here and there and then some watercolors. These give a different look to the places where I'm adding them and kind of I wanted that flowy effect from the watercolors whereas the painty look of the acrylic. So I used both. After drying the painty layers, I then add more layers to the background. You can see the stencils I'm working and all the other materials in the description box. First I added some black markings using archival ink through the stencil to the background and then some orange ones using another stencil and also an archival ink. So these won't bleed when I'm adding something on top. I'm also using the black archival ink to add some stamping to the background and I'm using two stamps. The other pattern is this really subtle dot looking pattern and the other one is more visible like these bigger blobs or spots. After I have the background finished it's then time to start embellishing. First I add the pages to my journal and then start making the focal points. You could see earlier that I was showing this chipboard frame which I covered using black embossing powder and also some cutout elements from the Pure collection. I'm first using these two elements to add something to the page. I cut the chipboard in half and then add the flowers on top. I'm using foam tape to mount the flowers so there's more dimension in these clusters. I then finish the page with a butterfly and a saying. These both are from a die card pack from the Rustical Time collection. To finish the page I add then some doodling with white and black, kind of echoing those black and white colors of the Pure collection. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this short video and found it helpful. I'll be seeing you again next month with another AB Studio video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing. Thank you. See you again. Bye.